No, the nine the nine is a nineties alternative rock band. Um Matchbox twenty. Matchbox twenty. I I, was I get, I get compared yeah, I get compared to <laughs> <laughs> it's just almost hey man like, it could wow. be worse you could you know like <laughs> i think rob thomas is a good singer if that's yeah what you're talking I, about. rob thomas i i that's probably the seventh or eight, eighth time that somebody's actually compared me to rob thomas and we went to his went to his concert in penticton and he put on a really good really good show like acoustic he had acoustic songs um he had songs on piano and that song uh 3 a.m the most prominent you know matchbox 20 hit actually wrote for his mom who had cancer yeah, it's, th it's 3 a.m so that was like oh man when i just to hear the stories behind okay, the song sing, too. That, sing the first oh. line for me please <laughs> um, what is the first line <laughs> everybody's like oh yeah i know what oh yeah i know that song oh. um, some about being cold outside and Dude, wear your raincoat. I can't fucking. I, <laughs> I don't want to look at Google. She said it's cold outside and hands me my raincoat. There you go. See, I was close. I was close. I was She's close. always worried about things like that. See? See? You go. Three you am I must be burning. lonely. Yeah, that's like Rob Thomas. I've, you know, covered a few songs of his, but. Yeah, that's about the seventh time that somebody's actually compared me to him, and that's that's cool. I like him. He's he's a great great musician. And you're very very talented. I love your music. I love your vocals. I love your voice. Um, it's really incredible what you're doing in music, um, and have all you know eight nominations and stuff. You know, new song out, um, new album out. It's called It's Time. Mm -hmm. Get at it. Download it. Yes. <laughs> Buy hard copies off Jared at his shows. Or do you mail them out? Yeah, I mail them out. I also got merchandise. Like I got T-shirts and pop sockets and beaded earrings, all sorts of things. So if you go to the What's Jared the Lee best? website. Oh, there you go. <laughs> getting there. JaredLee.com. Yeah. So it's J-A-R-R-I-D-L-E-E.com. Um, I would love for you to tag me in one of your favorite videos that I would like to share on my page um, after uh, after. We're done here. After we close it charge all up. up. Charge up mm -hmm. my phone a little bit so that people know where to find you on Facebook and then um, your website from there and everything. So, um, yes, tag me in one of your favorite videos because if I go, I'll just pick whatever and be like, yeah, I love them all. I've heard a couple of your videos and I'm like, damn. It's like, how did I not know this person? But then again, to be fair, I'm not on social media as yep. much as I should be, to be honest. But I love Maybe. sharing everyone else's music. Well, see, stuff. I introduced you to a new artist. Yes. There you go. There you go. See, that's that's my claim to fame. Yes. There you go. <laughs> but I want to thank you for joining us, dude. Like, just for coming out, sharing your music, telling us your stories, because I think that's the most important part for people out there when they get to know songwriters is to get to know what they're actually putting into their music and how it connects to them personally. And I think that's a big deal for me when I talk to other artists is to try and get, try to get that recipe out of them, out of them because, you know, everybody's got a different way of looking inside and drawing from their personal experiences and putting them down to pen and to music. And I really respect what you do and I just thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, appreciate it. You guys are awesome. You are artists that I've looked up to for like the last, even Trent, you know, Chelsea. I love your guys' music. Um, even things like the older songs that really caught, like it only takes one video. And my claim to fame, I guess, was uh, uh, about six years ago, I, I put a song on, on Facebook and I said to anybody who's going through a rough time or missing somebody that may have passed on. And I sang Drank a Beer by Luke Bryan, who was written by, by Chris Stapleton. And that song like had thousands and thousands of views. And I was like, oh. Okay, well, maybe there's something to social media. But I thank you guys for having me out and really appreciate that. And elevating and amplifying Indigenous voices, we got to be able to edify one another. And and we're all in this together. And, uh, you know, if one of us wins, we, we all win. So.